That looks so big. That's what she said. Okay, hey guys, it's Nukes Plays here with part three of Life is Strange 2, episode five. So far, we've just been literally just hanging out in this uh, trailer park thing that they can see here. And that's kind of all that's happened. If you saw episode four and uh, you just jumped in here for some reason, that you haven't missed anything. So don't worry about it. Basically, she's going to not come with us. And uh, apparently the police are kind of tracking us down. They're getting hot on our tails, hot on our heels, whatever. And uh, yeah, so we're going to set off soon, I'm guessing. Hopefully in this part right now. And uh, head on out into the wilderness to try and get to Mexico. Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. I think... I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh honey. How far is the border? Not that far. Uh, maybe a five or six hours drive. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm going to give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me, too for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Since when is church asking a crime? Mom, you'll go to jail for helping us. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Puerto Lobos. Thank you. So much, Karen. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules, no matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me, but try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. Don't let anybody get in the way. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. That's fair. Yes, it is. You took care of Daniel all the way from Seattle to Arizona. I don't know if that's far. <sighs> Nobody could ask for a better brother. I'll have to look up a map after this. Or son. To me, to, to me that, that could be like uh, one state. Okay. I, don't, I don't know. But I'm guessing it's probably going to be the like last a good... Let's, Wait, let's guess nine you states. Let's see <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit before it. Before we hit it, sure that's not gonna help. Should we should be driving? And it. don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. <gasps> okay. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to talk to him because if you uh, didn't see the other one, he's David from the first game, who's now all like hairy. Cause he used to have his mustache. Okay, yeah, yeah, write to Karen. I wonder if we get to pick what we write or whether he just writes it. Uh, let's go for Karen. Hey, Karen. I'm better with drawing than writing, but still, here it goes. We're both so different, and I get now that it's okay. It is what it is. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. It is ours to deal with, and you shouldn't be involved. We'll try to reach out once the dust has settled. If we can. Good luck with life, and... Everything. Sean. Ooh, 
Well, I know what it says. We just fucking wrote it. Let's go talk to David, because that might actually be interesting. Uh, anything else to have a look at? A name tag. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. Happy world. Okay, already looked at the computer stuff. I have to get one of these for Puerto Lobos. Daniel's a total addict now. We'll be a good son before we leave. <gasps> what if we find something? Are we going to? That camera angle made it feel like there's... No? Okay. Never mind, I got excited for nothing. Still can't believe she's kept it. Oh, there's, there you go, there's Bob. Huh. Is that the same person who rode her back in Beaver Creek? Hi, Rumi. Yes, I know New York in August is hot as balls. You did say you like the heat, but my apartment under this roof can be really suffocating. Don't want to rub it in, but Aspen is my new summer home. Dumb and Dumber taught me that that's in Colorado. Daily temperature around 70 Fahrenheit and hot tub at night. Anthony's cabin is more like a ski lodge. Next trip, maybe you can tag along. Poets retreat, best cure for your writer's block. And please let me know when you can pay me back for August rent. I would definitely need it for the next month. And up here in Aspen. I'll see you on September the 5th instead of the 4th, so put your clothes on. Stay out of trouble and remember to water my babies this time. Love you, and that's from Emma. <sighs> she was that close. What's this other one? Sucks she had to pay all that money back. Pursuant to a conversation, inability to script, poetry, manuscript, body blah. They won't be publishing her poems, basically. I thought we were to get something cool in, like the, in the box, but I guess not. All right, let's go talk to this David. He seems to have mellowed out because he was like. Should go see what David wants now. A high strung kind of mental ex-army guy that kind of hadn't let it go yet. If we can actually fucking find the door, there it is. How'd I run around it? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Sean. Hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but... Go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. So I wonder how long after the first game this is, because... Oh my god, please. Okay, I hope we find some kind of stuff related to the first one. Must there be his ex-wife. He's changed yeah, so, so that's much. Yes, that's what you look like. His... He had his like mustache and, and his... not for the best. And his stubble for the rest of it. And that's Chloe with him. And I can't, rem I can't remember what... Uh, the mum was called, but she worked in the diner. I feel you, David. Okay, Joyce. Great to get your postcard. You sure get around now. Hope you're seeing the world like you wanted. I know our lives are so different now. I like to think, but I hope we can go. Everything is so different now, and I hope one day we can just have a beer and shoot the shit like before I miss you. I thought it said Mr. Joyce at first, but it says my Joyce. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. Oh yeah, because he was, he was like the uh, the kind of school, the high school like janitor guy or something. That's right. I never saw David even drink a beer. Anything in here? <laughs> Weird. Didn't know David was so punk rock. Uh, see these. <laughs> yeah, me and David won't be sharing any playlist. Okay, I guess you better get the scanner then. I thought it'd be more than just a picture, but never mind. Wonder where David got this police scanner. Maybe that was like to hammer home to people that hadn't like figured it out, but had played the first one. Okay, how does this thing work? Uh, okay. Only got to search between 140 and. 160. What happens if we don't? Oh, I guess you only can. Oops. Is 
And it seems pretty easy because it's just like you go through all the... So whenever it kind of does that spike thing, just kind of stop and... Let's put in there. Ding, 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 Nothing ding, ding, ding. Funky. What else we got? Uh, 136, <laughs> listening. We've got reports of a 10, 10 Wait, down by... Wait, is this it? Uh, Sam's? Now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. Thanks, David. You big rebel. I wonder what's on the other ones I missed. I might like go back and replay it after and see if there's something cool. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <sighs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. <laughs> sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just... Honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. Hopefully we can get the opportunity to kind of ask him some questions about Chloe and stuff. Don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. Your experience forms you as a person. And I imagine all the shit you've seen and how it's changed you. Pretty much. Not comparing myself, but I had to go through my own hell. In war and at home. I didn't know how to deal with emotions or other people. Oh, there you go. Are you talking about your stepdaughter? Yeah. Some rich fucking kid shot her at school where I was supposed to protect her. Me and her hated each other on sight. But once I lost her, everything became clear. How selfish and stupid I'd been. I should have listened to Chloe, instead of being a bully. All of my fuck-ups are crystal clear now. But I'm not gonna fuck this up. Sean, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. But you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? If you step up, and That's what I've been law. saying, like, as long as we tell the truth and we can, like, you prove can that he can free. do that thing and they just say it was an accident and it was the first Somewhere time it happened, then that's kind of all they needed to do. But I don't know, they just made it so complicated. I don't know. I might... But again, I keep going on about it, but... Turn myself in. After I see what happens with Daniel. 
I know you want to settle down first. I get it with the whole like Daniel thing. He doesn't want anything keep kind your of bad to go wrong. Options open. Or anything Think to about. go wrong when he wants to like, look after him. But and I don't know, man. Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So I know you're on the right path. <laughs> Oh, uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, Joyce. Right on time. All right, I guess another walking section for us. Yeah, I'm good. I'm only done setting up. Poor man, do. Go to the car to leave town. Sorry. Okay. I think we've pretty much seen everything there is to see. I don't think anyone's even. Out. Okay, well, maybe yeah. see what they have to say. Anything you say our goodbyes, I guess, since he seems to like him. Hi, Sean. Hey, guys. Swing by our place before you Look leave. at that. Will you? I thought there was only vultures in the desert. I came by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah. Just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. Oh, yeah, and I guess we can go and say bye to Jolie after this as well. <laughs> Thanks. But the sooner we cross the border, the better. No worries. No worries? Bullshit. That's all we're going to do until you make it. We will. Thanks to you and everyone here. You gave us a place to breathe. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? Yeah, we'll try. We'll, we'll lie to we'll them try. and say we'll try. I'm glad this place this will be last US memory. Of a you desert and your little brother slum. will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay, I'm done babbling. I just hate goodbyes. I know you're both going to have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. Shit. I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. You hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. All right, so let's go and hit up Jolie. Damn. See if she's as touchy as she was last time. Was that? Who is this? Is this the mom? Yeah, it is. Okay, fuck it. We'll go and see Jolie. You'll be fine in Mexico. She's still around. I don't know. Come on. Hey. What's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So, what do you think? <laughs> well, I shouldn't have said that with the makers. Looks a bit off. Do it again. Or something. Hmm. I agree. Something's not right. I'll figure it out. Or give it up. I love it! So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. You're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around. These are some really oh, aggressive hugs. Because every time they hug someone, like my fucking vibrate. I almost just said my vibrator keeps going. This is for all my your controller help. keeps really? vibrating. Whoa. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, one big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself and my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey. Is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? 
if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. I wonder if that um, wolf thing is going to be like a collectible. Cause that'd be cool. Cause it's like the it'd be the first one we've picked up in a cutscene. I think. I'll miss you so much, Joanne. I know, sweetie. I'll miss you too. I had so much fun and inspiration building all these things. Uh, okay, I guess just. Can we talk to the mum before we go? Hey. Oh. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. So. Do you think your truck will make it all the way to the border? Oh, it will. It's never failed me before. How long have you been driving for? Not long enough. Dad taught me, but... I always had other plans. We didn't go cruising too much. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be, too. Yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. <laughs> Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Wish he was here with us. It's bullshit that we get to see Puerto Lobos, but he doesn't. I know. But Esteban is still with you. And he always wanted you and Daniel to see where he came from. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running, of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. I just want to get this shit over with. That's how I'm feeling about this so episode we can start right now. over. If we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. He wants to be equals. And you guys are gonna have to work together. He may even help you make it. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out, like you always do. Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. All right. I'll make one last round before leaving. All right, looks like we're heading off to the car and we're done. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to away? Yeah. Kinda sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, Inano. Come here. Mom... I... I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. Danny? No one's calling that. I'm so damn proud of you both. And what you're gonna do with your life. And if you ever need me... I'm just around the corner. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Okay, why not? Now we're here again. Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. Again, another vibration intense hug.
Let's hit the road. Do we pick up the scanner? Maybe he's like done that game thing where he puts like a big box in his pocket. That's probably where it is. by a cactus. Look at the interior. Where's the, where's the door handle even or the window thing? I don't care about that. So... What's the problem? What... What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? Um... As long as we want. We have a house there. That's what Dad wanted, and I know. So, what are we going to do for money and stuff? <sighs> no worries. We do have some cash. And a power, right? We'll figure it out. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? Everybody likes you, man. You'll be the cool American kid in no time. I can do that. Maybe. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel... I get scared, too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you. Yeah, I wonder how much money they do have this time, because I haven't actually like checked in this episode yet. It's just been like fucking bounced up and down between episodes anyway, so it's just kinda you know, just kinda random. I said since like pretty much the second episode that they should have it like roll over and that could be like a key point was like kinda saving your money and then if you'd spent too much money in one area then you couldn't spend it in like another bit and that would affect like your options and stuff that would have been like a cool kind of gameplay element but i guess they didn't do that kind of show it off that much when like nowadays he's just kind of like doing it in front of everyone and that was kind of a stupid thing like if that would have actually had like some kind of consequences or played into something more than it has then that would have been cool it's just kind of it's, it's kind of like a half-hearted storyline the whole 
oh, don't tell him to, should he, should he hide his powers or should you let him use it? It doesn't really matter because he's just going to kind of end up using it all at the end anyway. Anyway, I'll save my rants for when I've actually finished it. How about that? Ooh. Oh shit, okay, we're, at, we're just at the board already. I thought this was going to be like a, like the final like scene thing. It'd be like a big dramatic that whatever. Looks so big. That's what she said. So I guess now we see how this works out. Like, what's our game plan here? Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. Stay here and listen to this police thing. We believe they left within the past few hours. The two brothers are still considered armed and dangerous. Proceed with caution. At this time, only the mother of the fugitives has been arrested. Oh no. Sean, why would they arrest mom? Why? So they can give her shit. But she didn't do this shit last until Puerto Lobos. Unless our car breaks down in the desert. Which is hey, a very real possibility. Sean? Why would they build this? Well... Okay, I guess we just you run know, up to the wall. It's a border, man. Is there Without a wall like this? getting stuck on a foot-tall cactus? North? Nah. Not really. So... Why did they build one here? I don't know, Daniel. That sucks. Yeah, so they used this for the the um, background on the main menu, and it was like the most boring. It was like that. It was like this shot here of like the wall and the desert, and it was like the most boring one they've had. This is the opposite of Seattle. We're at the end of America. Shit. I didn't think there would be more oh, than a barbed wire destroy. fence okay. out here. So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Surely you'd want to like, do it over by their mountains. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. All right, here we go. as well. It's bending, you can see it. I can't. It's all right. Take your time. Stay focused. Yeah, maybe you could have done this from further away. Might have been a good idea. They should have like the <gasps> as like the, the sun Almost. like hit their faces. I honestly thought like there was okay. like a thing like it's halfway okay. through where it was like Just tell him breathe. to stop because he couldn't do it or like tell him to like push on and try and do it and he'd like hurt himself or something. Breathe. <laughs> cool shot. Again. We did it! <gasps> We fucked that shit up. We fucked that shit up, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <sighs> wow, it looks so different. 
I mean, this side we've just got like cactus and be grass right and now. sand, but then that side has got hardest part. cactus and Thanks grass and sand, but Mexican sand. Nah, we did it together, man. Come on, let's go back to the car. <laughs> okay. Oh man, oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean. Is that it, or is there like something else to like see around this area? Because you'd think. That would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. That they wouldn't just give you like a giant. I say giant, it's gonna be like there's loads of invisible yeah, walls and stuff, you know what I mean? I'm dying to get some choco crisp. Like maybe like something kind of. Oh man. Like it's obviously gonna Mexico? be like a collectible in this area. Oh, what the fuck? Daniel! Daniel! What just happened? Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! Do you slip? Oh. 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 No, no way, not now, Daniel. Hey, who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Oh, he got shot. Hey, oh. Oh. oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed him. Let me him. go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! We're going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. That's fucking funny. We're Americans. Americans, damn it. Now, it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? It's not legal to shoot kids. Listen, it's a long story. But we really are trying to get out of here. You can fucking skateboard across the border 10 miles away. So tell me the plan. Hey, don't fuck with us, kid. You're the only ones around. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. We have to deal with this kid. <sighs> yeah, bitch. <sighs> Stop bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. Oh, boy. D don't move. <sighs> what? what the fuck? Stop! Get it off! Jesus! What the fuck is going on? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. What the fuck's going on? Fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals! Fuck's sake! What I say? Uh oh. Uh, okay. Up. Up. Take a breath. You okay now? <sighs> Daniel! What? I, I, I'm sorry, are you Sean? No. Sean Diaz? Uh, who? I said... <laughs> Paniel. You're under arrest. Oh, okay, he just takes us. Hey. Well, that could have gone better. Okay, that'll do it for this part. That was part three. So uh, thanks for watching. Still awesome. And I'll see you guys next time for the next part, which will probably be the final part. And in turn, the entirety of the Life is Strange 2 story. So join me for that. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome. And I'll see you guys next time.